it's create miss it's day two and we are going to do tpt banners for your teachers pay teachers store stay tuned <laughs> my name is laurianne and if you are new or returning welcome day two and i apologize this video was supposed to be done a couple days back but i've been a little bit sick i've been a sicko i've been a i've been a little sicky and i'll talk about that more in another video but uh, this is a request of a few people they've asked me to do banners and I'll be honest with you I my banners that you see on my store I didn't make even before I started creating teachers pay teacher products for sale I had my store <clears throat> my store just mainly had freebies in it and I was updating my Instagram and I was getting someone to do my logo and I saw that she was create she created banners as well. So I just thought, fine, do it all, do it all. But since then, I have learned to do them, and they are super easy. The biggest thing is getting the dimensions right. So I will put them here. So just write them down. I also have a little cheat sheet that might be available. It might be a bit. We'll see. Anyways, when you look at your TPT store, there is a logo at the top. There is a what would they call the quote box and if you have nothing to put there you could at least put a quote you could just type a quote in it asks you for an image or text you can just type text or click text and then just write it in there then there is what's called the leaderboard banner i don't know why and it's long and skinny that's one we're going to do first and then there's a column banner so it's a little one down below that most people say thanks for coming or thanks for visiting or something like that. So I'm going to show you all three with the leaderboard banner and the little column banner. They're super easy and they are they're, they get uploaded in one particular spot in Teachers Pay Teachers. And your quote box is part of your school, school your store profile, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera around and let's get to it. Just before we go into Canva, let's start at your TPT store or my TPT store. And as you can see, there is this banner right here, this banner just above your featured items, which I would recommend you put in themes, seasonal stuff if you have it. So I've got two winter in here right now. And then there is a little square down here. So you've got one, two, three, and then your logo. So we're just going to focus on this one right here. Let's go to Canva. Okay, where we are going is to create a design where you are in Canva. You can do this in the free. I have the pro version or paid version, but I still have my store open. With this banner here, you want to maybe make some sort of reference to, you know, take check out my featured resources or products or something like that. And that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go back to Canva. We're going to create a design. So we're going to do a custom size. And for the banner, it is 718 by 90. So it's skinny, long, but skinny. If you wanted to do this in inches, it is 26 by 3. So as you can see, there it is. You could look at some of these ones that they already have existing and modify it if you see something you like. Sometimes I go through here and I might see something uh, that I'm like, oh, hey, I can use that. So for example, let's just touch this one for a second, right? You could take your font colors. So depending on what colors you have for your logo, you can use them. So I can go over here and having a pro or paid version, you can input what your favorite colors are, which and they will label them brand and put them right up at the top. So if I wanted to do this blue, and then I want to change the fonts to my fonts. So I'll go up here, and my fonts are these KG ones. So I will do, even if I do something like that. So start with the template. Check out these amazing winter products. And I can get rid of this one, center it. I'm going to change these to something like snowflakes. So I'm going to go to elements and go snowflake and see what they have. Oh, there's a couple of them. They're nice. Um, I'm going to change that to white 
And then I'm going to replace these little stars with snowflakes. Actually, I should do one in maybe a light blue. Just get rid of these. I like that one too. Actually, I'll keep this one. So I just copy paste. I'm going to change the color of this one to a pink. Oh yeah, the pink works. And I'll make it size that one smaller. I like how they shot it off the side a bit. So that looks kind of cool. So I'm just copying and pasting. And I could leave it at that and I'm done. That's what's so crazy about this. We sometimes think these are hard. When you've got a, a tool like Canva, you can, or even PowerPoint, again, you just need to know the dimensions. So again, in inches, this is 26 by three. That's it. In the next Create Miss, I'm gonna show you how to make one with animations. But this one is a simple banner right there for you. And actually I could add an arrow. So let me just go back to elements, arrow. You might have also clip art that you want to add as well. So I could do, I'm gonna do a non-animated one for now. Just a second to it. Let me turn this around. I could do that. And then I'm going to do it again, copy it, and then I'm gonna flip it. Okay, flip it vertically. There we go. Nope. <laughs> Other way. There we go. Okay. Turkey. Okay. And then I can just have that one with that one. There you go. Done. So I could go banner and then download. And I'm going to download it as a JPEG instead of a ping. Canva usually defaults everything to a ping. It's a much bigger size. It's a better quality, but I'm going for small. Save that. I'm going to actually call it label it banner. I'll save that one. Now let me go back to my store. When you are uploading your different banners, this one is found when you go to your account and store profile. So you click store profile and that's that one. And you just hit edit and you can either type a, a little favorite quote in there or you could add something there. But the other two, this one, so this one's your banner and this one, your square, are found in your dashboard marketing. Dashboard marketing. So go to dashboard, click marketing, and you're going to go here where it says customize, upload your own banners. So here is the, I don't know why they call it the leaderboard, but there is that banner. And here is the column banner. And even here it says upload your image 718 by 90 pixels. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose my file. Okay, and I hit save. And there it is. So if I go back to my store, it's going to look a little bit different, right? But there it is. And hey, the arrows are pointing right at the winter products. Woo! <laughs> Easy, isn't it? I I was so nervous about making them, and I just I thought well, Canva, Canva, Canva. We do can everything is Canva nowadays when I'm making things. I and it's how it's so wonderful that you can go into Canva, find a template, and then just change your colors. If you're not using Canva. There's a link down below. Check it out. It's, it's, yeah. I can't, I can't say enough nice things about Canva. So, especially when you can just type in the dimensions. So it's really important that you get the dimensions right. Teachers Pay Teachers does accept pings, but I do find that they are, what I've been learning about is that pings are of a bigger size, space size, I think they call it. I can't remember the, what the actual terminology is than jpegs and I, i've been noticing this a lot for my website because every so often my site speed slows down and i'm hearing it's because i'm putting up all these large ping images so i'm slowly switching them to jpegs to to speed up the website so i thought probably works the exact same for everything else so that's why i'm using jpegs as opposed to pings. Uh, with a ping, it's a slightly better quality. So wherever you are in the world, I hope you and your family are staying safe. Be healthy. We got snow. Be safe on those roads and we'll catch you. Hmm. You can look at that crate miss or that playlist. They're both pretty good.
<laughs> See ya.